Uh, what does having a jacked up kidney mean for your life? What do you have to do? Drink lots of water, go poop. <laughs> go poop. I'm Christian Lee and this is my daughter Melina. You want to say hi? Hi! And we're going to talk to her today about her kidney. So what do we always say about your kidney? How many kidneys do you have? One. And what do we always say about that one kidney? It's jacked up. It's jacked up. What does that mean? Mm, it's not really working well. It doesn't work well. I mean it works better than when you were a baby right because we take care of everything it doesn't work a hundred percent like most people's kidneys would right yeah. and most people have two kidneys and Mia only has one and it only works at about 60 to 70 percent most of the time so what did you have to do today because of your kidney I had to go to the doctor's office mm -hmm. I had to get jelly on my belly jelly on the belly so they could do an ultrasound mm-hmm and I had to get a shot this hand, this hand, and right here. Okay, well it wasn't a shot. What was it? Taking blood. Yeah, they drew blood from you. Why did they do it in three places today? Because my hands weren't working well and coming fast. Yeah, that's the thing about giving blood is sometimes if it doesn't come out well, they gotta yeah. keep trying a new spot, don't they? Yeah. Now, did you cry today or were you brave? I was brave on my hands, but on this part, it really hits more in the vein and it really hurts so I cried just a little bit. You cried so it's just... only just like a pinch. Okay. Like now the when they do the jelly on your belly, do you know why they do that? It's so they can check in my belly and see what medicines we need. See how my kidneys going. Yeah, it is. It's to see how your kidneys doing. They use a little mm -hmm. wand, right? Mm -hmm. And they roll around. It's actually the mm -hmm. same thing they did with mom when she was pregnant with the baby to see inside to see the baby. But they're looking at your kidney. Yeah. All right. So what's my nickname for you? Papa. That's your nickname for me. What's my nickname for you? Oh, Kidney Bean. And why do I call you Kidney Bean? Because they got a jacked up kidney. Because kidneys are shaped like little beans. Bean. That's why they call kidney beans kidney beans, because they're shaped like kidneys. And you're my little bean. <laughs> Do you do anything different than any other kids because of your kidney problem? Mm. Drink more water than them. Yeah, you carry around a water bottle at school, but do you not play games or... I play games. Yeah, yeah. You do everything other kids do. You would never know me had a kidney disorder if you didn't, well, if we didn't tell you, because she does everything that every other kid does. She just carries a gigantic bottle of water around school with her, with her. and um, she also takes a lot of medicine in the morning and at night, and she drinks a lot of Pediasure to help keep her weight up and regular. Is there anything else that's different about the kidney uh, that you can think of? No. No? I really don't like that one medicine. Oh, the new medicine that you have to take. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she has to stay on an antibiotic, a preventative antibiotic. It's just a little bit, but it keeps her from getting infections downstairs because she's prone to that. And if that were to go up to her kidney, that would be a very, very bad thing, mm -hmm. right? So we gotta make sure we have baths at least every other night, and you have to take all your medicines, including that little antibiotic, so you don't get any more. UTIs, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that kind of stinks. I had to get a tube in me. Oh, bad. And you have had to have a surgery since we adopted you, mm -hmm. and she had a surgery. Well, mm -hmm. I don't think you should show them your scar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, and you had a surgery when you were a little baby that if they had done right, we wouldn't have had to do again. And a I got years a shot ago. in my foot. Was it this foot or this foot? I don't remember. I don't remember, but they gave you something in your foot? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what life is like living with a little girl with only one kidney that's kind of jacked up. Um, do you have anything to tell people about your kidney or want to say anything to people about it? Mm, not that I know of. It's not that big a deal, is it? You're just used to it. Mm. Yeah, she's a trooper and we are always super proud of her. And like she said today, she barely even cried at the doctor when she had to get blood. So super proud of you. You know I love you. 
Mm -hmm. All right, give me a kiss. Yeah. All right. And there's one little bump here from my shot. From giving blood? Yeah. I'll give it a Papa Magic kiss. It won't go away, but it'll be better by tomorrow. You want to say goodbye to everybody? Bye. Bye. We'll see you next time. Well, you'll see us. Well, thank you for watching. I just thought it would be a cool little insight into my life if you heard some of my daughter's story and some of our story and how we deal with having a seven-year-old girl, soon to be eight-year-old girl with a kidney problem. I mean, she was born with only one kidney and when it didn't really work right, the doctors told her birth mom that she needed to do some extra preventative things to take care of her kidney. And her mom, well, she was just ill-equipped to be a mother, mentally, physically, in a lot of ways. And her grandmother really saved her life. Her grandmother took Mia out of that home, took her to the hospital. Her kidney function was down to less than 20%. I think it was less than 10% when she took her to the hospital. And then she got put in foster care, and then a couple years later, my wife and I adopted her and her brother, Carlin. And we couldn't have made a better decision in our lives. They are wonderful. They are as much my kids as the two that have recently been born to us. I think Carlin is more like me than my naturally born son, Oliver, is. I just see so much similarities between us that there had to be somebody upstairs kind of moving pieces on the board in place to get us together because we are their parents. They just unfortunately had somebody looking after them at the beginning that shouldn't have been, but it's taken care of now. We've gotten her the surgery she needs. We keep on her about her medicine every night and in the morning. It's a bit of an ordeal and twice a year we have to go to Children's Hospital who we can't thank enough like we did today and they check up on her kidney make sure everything's functioning correctly make sure she's growing at a steady but not too fast rate because when she hits puberty they really think that that's the time that she's going to need to get a kidney transplant and that is a rough thing for us to think about but it's going to happen eventually i'm crossing my fingers that they can grow her her own by the time she needs it so come on science we're pulling for you anyway thank you for watching this vlog, I know it was something a little bit different than what I normally do, but then again, I keep doing different stuff. So maybe it's the norm. We really appreciate it if you would click subscribe. It just gets you information on when we post a new blog, and then you get a little notification on YouTube that goes, hey, Christian and his family posted a new vlog. Don't you wanna see it? And you know you do. So thanks for clicking subscribe. Thank you for telling your friends about Plaid Dev Vlogs, and we will, like I said earlier, see you next time.